Hey there, it's Laura. Welcome to today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Today I just wanted to offer some encouragement, some tips, maybe challenge you a little bit um, to, you know, develop the potential for what lies within you. So let me start with a quote from the book I'm reading, um, and I've been referencing it quite a bit lately. It's Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. So the quote is, somewhere in your makeup there lies sleeping the seed of achievement which if aroused and put into action would carry you to heights such as you may have never have hoped to attain. So I just want to offer that to you that, you know, you have greatness within you. You may have things that are, are yet um, not tapped into. If you're watching this video, you're most likely within my blog. And I'm going to put a link in here to this morning's audio, the daily mindset call. I've mentioned this call a bunch. And just to revisit, you know, it's Monday through Friday at 6 a.m. Pacific. There is a replay. And it's not, um, it's not for promoting any business. It's non-business specific. It is facilitated by one of the leaders within Empower Network. But really it's um, about, you know, putting yourself around a group of like-minded people and being... Um, encouraged and challenged and um, focused and learning together every morning and it's it's a great call so the reason I'm gonna put that link in my blog which I've not done before is this morning's call was particularly powerful um, Paul walked us through a transformation exercise a visualization and um, it's, it's not something I've done in quite a while and I was just kind of remembering how much power there can be in that you know I believe that I have great mis greatness in me excuse me I believe that you have greatness in you, and I think that we have a lot of tools available to us to access that and um, nurture it, foster it, uh, grow it, and so that call is just one of the tools that I'm using, so I really encourage you to listen to it. The, the exercise is a few minutes into the call, but definitely worth checking out. I'm actually going to listen to it again when I'm done shooting this video, um, and because I have faith. I, have, I believe that doing these things and staying consistent will um, continue to push me into, you know, the the person, you know, not to say that I'm dissatisfied with who I am now, but I hope I always keep growing. I hope you always keep growing. It's, it's, um, <laughs> it's just a good thing to do. So another thing that came up on the call this morning that's really been sticking with me is um, a quote from Bob Proctor that Paul mentioned. Uh, I got a dog being silly behind me. <laughs> the quote is, attitude and tone for your entire day is set by the first five minutes of what you do when you wake up. Um, so I, it's just, I've really been thinking about that because, you know, what I do is say my personal manifesto when I get up, <clears throat> I read through that, and I'm trying lately to um, really say it with emotion because, you know, just reading through something is not, it's, uh, it can become a bit mechanical. You want to have emotion, so, we, you know, the whole idea is, though, that, your you know subconscious starts to absorb and believe what it is you're reading, and then you manifest what that is into your actions, and you um, end up achieving what it is that, you know your desired outcome is. <clears throat> so I do that, you know, and I also I put my gym clothes out so that I can just kind of fall into them. There's no excuses, and <laughs> I don't have to stumble around and look for stuff, you know. And so that's what I do. But the other thing I was thinking about is where my mind is, and I want to start personally being more mindful of what it is I'm thinking about when I get up because I, I think that's true. I think, you know, how we start our day in those first few minutes really can set the blueprint for the rest of the day. So I'd offer that to you as well. So gave you a few things to think about, you know, if you're, you know, my challenge for you is if you're not a part of something that you believe in or you're passionate about, um, and I get it, I've been there, you know, but to, 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 remedy that do something about it and you may be saying to yourself ah oh, Laura you know it's nice to have the luxury to get to be a part of something that you believe in I gotta go you know through do the grind nine to five or whatever your thing is um, but it doesn't have to be that hard to go out and find something to be a part of or get behind something that you're passionate about and that you believe in and it just I don't know I just think it makes you for more full rich rewarding life for me right now I mean it's the rescue horses <clears throat> you know it's being behind friends that I really that have ex so much love and care for me and, and really trying to develop and focus on some of those relationships 
but also it's Empower Network. You know, I, I will continue to say that this is not a company, it's a movement, it's a transformation, and I'm, I'm passionate about it. I'm around a community of people who are also passionate about it, and there's something about that energy when you're a part of a group and um, you're all, you know, your belief is headed in the same direction and you are seeing real life results happen as a result um, of, of that passion and excitement uh, and um, just the courage to take a leap into something that's kind of out of the box. It's, it's so energizing and life-changing. I really encourage you to, you know, at least check it out, find out what it's about. Okay, you guys, that's what I got for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.